Hi everyone, welcome to a new devlog. This week I had an overload of work with my 3D commissions which hasn't left me much time to work on my video game. But since I still wanted to make a video, I decided to talk a bit about my process when I design UI. So let's get started. The first step is the functionality. In this case, I want to design an inventory. This functionality is not independent because it's linked to other mechanics such as equipment, weaponry and the skills. So it's important to know and understand those relationships because they can end up translating graphically in the design. Once I have a better idea of the functionalities, which can and surely would change through the creative process, I look for references. Ideally, to see how other games solve those problems, as we cannot be buying and testing all the games, I use two websites to find possible solutions, both uh, graphically and interactivity. One is GameUIDatabase.com, and the other is InterfacingGame.com. They are very practical because you can search by game or by functionality. In my case, I search inventories, so I can see all available designs, as you can see here. While I check the references, I always have a notepad where I write down ideas and make sketches, especially for layouts. Once I have the layout defined and a possible way to develop the solution, I go to Illustrator to design the specific screen. For me, it's very important to design everything before going into the game engine, because during the design phase is where we can see possible problems which are always easier to solve in Illustrator than in Unreal. Once I'm happy with the design, I can start preparing and optimizing the images for Unreal. Within Illustrator, I use Safe for Web, which gives me the best quality weight optimization. When I have all the images ready, I import them into Unreal and create the necessary widgets. The technical part of how to reproduce your design in Unreal or any other game engine can be so extensive that maybe it would be better to dedicate a video just for this. Here I just wanted to share an overview of the process that maybe can help you. Since designing UI seems very trivial, but when you get started, it's usually very overwhelming and you don't know where to start. Another problem is all the input management. Usually, my games can be played with a controller, and for that, you have to develop manually all the UI events and how to manage the input. I'll leave a link to a series of tutorials by Ryan Lely where he explains how to implement this functionality. I think it's one of the best tutorial series I found on YouTube and Udemy. This video was a bit more theoretical and focused on game design than game development, but I hope the resources I use on a daily basis can also be helpful for you. Hopefully next week I will have more time to show more progress on my game, Howling Tales. And that was all this week. As always, if you like this content, don't forget to like the video and subscribe, and leave your questions or suggestions in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching, and have a great week.